They're saying ChatGPT can now write a code and you can try it yourself. It does a pretty good job. And then there is this Devon AI engineer who can not only write the code, but also design software systems itself. And then we are hearing the news about LLM agents, which will be essentially a set of specialized LLMs working together as a team to not only write the code, to write the full softwares for you. So a lot of people who are planning to learn programming at this stage are now considering that is learning programming a good investment of your time? Because if AI is going to keep advancing this way, then most of the programming jobs will be automated anyway. So all the time and money they would have spent on learning programming would be useless. So in this video, I'm going to share my thoughts on this exact question that in today's world, should you be spending time in learning programming or not? But before I go ahead and start sharing my own thoughts, let's see what the industry experts are saying about this topic. Let's hear what CEO of NVIDIA, Jensen Huang, is saying on this. You, you, you probably recall uh, over the course of the last 10 years, 15 years, um, almost everybody who sits on a stage like this would tell you it is vital that your children learn computer science. Um, everybody should learn how to program. And in fact, it's almost exactly the opposite. It is our job to create computing technology such that nobody has to program. And that the programming language, it's human. Everybody in the world is now a programmer. He's basically saying that with the evolution of programming, we have gradually progressed towards making programming more abstract and easier to write. And as a next step of this evolution, LLMs are going to get to a stage that programming will be human language and no one has to learn it the way we used to learn it previously. Let's see what another expert, the CEO of OpenAI has to say about this topic. So should kids still be learning how to code? Because I've, I've heard people say, don't need to learn how to code anymore, um, just math, just biology. Well, I'm biased because I like coding, but I think you should learn to code. Uh, I don't write code very much anymore, although I randomly did yesterday. <laughs> Um, but learning to code was great as a way to learn how to think. And I think coding will still be important in the future. It's just going to change a little bit or a lot. We have a new tool. So Sam is basically saying that though the toolkit will change, programmers will still be needed and they'll be using different toolkits and that programming is a way of thinking. So it will still be very much needed. Now, there is this popular argument that even if you take the latest LLMs, their performance is much lower if you compare it against human benchmarks. But I personally do not fully buy that argument because the LLMs we are seeing as of today, they are just the first step towards making of much more robust and complex LLMs. So even if there are shortcomings in today's LLMs, they will be removed to a big extent in future. So based on all this, these are my two cents about this topic. I think that the current code bases of the companies, they are much more complex than you would anticipate. A typical code base would have tens of thousands of lines of program. Companies' code bases are pretty vast and they are very protective about those. One current limitation of all these enterprise LLMs, be it ChatGPT or Google Gemini, is that when you use them, they send back the data they see to their enterprise servers. So if a company exposes their current code base to these LLMs, some of that information will be shared with the enterprise servers of these big companies, which the companies would definitely not allow. The second thing is that when there are very big code bases, and if you ask the LLMs to make some changes in it, for example, if there is a website for Yahoo and Yahoo asks an LLM to go look at their entire code base and add a new page, that there is a chance that it will introduce some error into it. And as an experienced software engineer, I can tell you that it takes 10 times more time to debug an error than to write a new code. And also for big code bases, an error introduced in one part of it impacts all other components of the code base. So companies will be in big trouble if any new errors are introduced as a part of this change through LLM. So I personally think that though there will be some usage of LLM in the writing of the code, it'll still be under heavy supervision of human beings. So if you learn to write the code, you could be one of those people who would be supervising the working of the LLMs. And for that, you need to learn coding. The other thing is that let's for argument's sake, say that if you decide to move away from coding because it is going to be automated, then where will you go? One option is that you stay within the tech industry 
do not learn coding but try to learn other things like devops cloud security etc now these are all viable options but some of that will also be impacted through ai also if you do not know coding even at a basic level then you will be limited on how much you can succeed in those roles the third option is that you totally leave tech and go into some other industry now whatever industry you go into the AI advances will come there and automate a lot of things there as well. So there is basically no escaping from the AI advancements. They will reach each and single industry. So the best approach, as they say in the mafia, if you can't beat them, join them. And the way to join the AI is to be a programmer yourself, because then you can ride this wave of AI and be part of this transformation, which every single industry has to go through. And trust me, I'm very bullish on the fact that AI will create, at least within the tech industry, a lot more jobs than it will eliminate. So if you learn to be a programmer and know how these systems work, you can ride this wave of AI transformation and have an immensely successful career ahead. While your other option is keep changing your industries, trying to escape from these AI transformations, which ultimately will lead to nowhere. So these are my two cents on the topic. If you have a different thought, please put it in the comment below. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching.